All right, we'll begin to get started. And if anyone else wants to come in a bit later, um, they will be welcomed. So to start, um, uh, just get like a comfy seat. I'm on my meditation pillow, but I do have my two couch pillows for later. And then um, option to have a notebook to write things down or just take a mental note um, as I like to get started with just like um, just a few things to write down. Um, so this meditation today is going to be focused on the heart chakra. So just find your comfy seat, get there, get comfortable, and jot a few things down either on your paper or in your head. Um, just a few things that warm your heart, that like bring you joy, that something that you love, just to kind of focus on that area today. So we'll take just a few minutes to do that. I'll write some down myself. And just write whatever comes to you, good, bad, neutral, whatever it may be. And finish up wherever you're at, and we can just set the journal aside for now. And we'll find our comfy seat. So I'm using my pillows. You can cross your legs in front of you or extend them long but you just want your hips parallel with your knees. We'll keep your legs from going numb and it'll just be a bit more comfortable for your feet as well. So throughout this meditation, if your mind wanders or if it's hard to focus, um, that's okay. Just keep breathing and just keep trying. Meditation is never perfect. Sometimes when I sit down to meditate, I cannot focus at all and I'll get up and do something and just try again later. So just make it um, a little bit of you. So just grow tall with your spine, soften your shoulders so they're not shrugged up by your ears, and elongate your neck, 
And just begin to release your fingers, your toes, just so there's no fidgeting, minimal movements. And just take a few cleansing breaths. So big breaths that fill up your belly and then your upper chest. And then sigh those out as well. You can even invite your eyes to close, but just to bring your awareness back to yourself, back inward, just to focus on one thing, and that's breath, just to be simple. So take your few cleansing breaths. You can even close your lips and breathe out through your nose. Begin to work mindfully to elongate your breaths. Maybe you begin to count to a higher number as you inhale and count to that same number on the exhale. Just beginning to clear your mind bringing yourself to your meditative headspace. And shifting the focus from your breath, letting it fall to a more natural rhythm and bringing your focus onto a white beam of light that's shining down. As your eyes are closed, you're still standing tall with soft shoulders. Still being mindful about breath, but not as much control. It's focused onto that white beam of light. Imagine the white light is covering you. You're right in the center, wherever you're seated. And that white light turns into an emerald green, entering your body through the back of your heart center, through the, your upper back. The emerald green is bright and it fills you up, starting with your heart. You're still breathing filling up deeper and brighter with that emerald green until your whole body is full. Focusing all your energy on this light as you send out a shard of green energy from your heart center to a part of your body that needs healing whether it's physically or mentally, your body needs something, it needs you to listen and give back to your love, give back to your body. And allowing this emerald green to wrap around the part of your body that needs healing, whether it's an organ, a joint, a ligament, bones, whatever it is, it's special to your body, to your meditation, and to your practice. And send green light to that part of the body as you visualize it getting brighter growing deeper and green. And leave that energy there. Still breathing, still keeping that tall strut, spine. And 
as that energy is left within yourself. Repeat to another area of your body that might need attention, might need a little extra love. Could be something as simple as maybe you need a hug from yourself. Maybe you stubbed your toe earlier this week. Or it could be deeper. It's whatever you need. If there's any other areas, send your green emerald light there as you shine bright. Highlighting any parts of your body that need a bit more energy. Everything you have is already inside you. Sometimes we just need a little help accessing those parts, those tools. Still leaving some energy, some emerald green in your heart. And as you're glowing green at different parts of your body, maybe you feel warmth there. Still keeping light within you. You're going to send that spotlight back up to the sky. Take a big breath in, a big breath out. And next inhale, a pink light shines over you, just as before. Entering through your upper chest, into your heart space. Into all of those points where you sent that green light, the pink will smooth it over. And that pink light Soothes the emotional hurt, releasing feelings of neglect or anger, emotional betrayal or disappointments. As that pink grows deeper and brighter, you're sending it to all points of your body that need a little extra need you to recognize, tune in to your body. Next exhale. You have these two different colors vibrating through you, healing you. Mixing together. Creating more energy and leaving you stronger. Leaving a protective layer against the outside world. That pink light can go back up. Same it came. Back to the sky while still leaving remnants inside the body, healing you. While still remaining soft with yourself. With the lights gone on the outside, but they still remain in.
feel your body as it's craving attention. Tune in and listen to what you need to take away from this space, this practice. As the mind goes blank, just simply be for a few breaths. Feel the rise and fall of your breath. The weight underneath your body as you grow taller. The warmth in your heart. you protect yourself give yourself back some love And place both hands over your heart space, one on top of the other. And just feel your breath rise, maybe your heart beat. Maybe the warmth your body is giving off. And you can let your hands fall back down into your lap. Begin to wiggle your fingertips, your tippy toes. Take a few deeper breaths, a few louder breaths. And when you're ready, you can invite your eyes to open. And tuck your chin in slightly as you begin to connect your right ear to your shoulder and then tip your head back, being slow as your left ear comes to shoulder. And then that chin tucks slightly, just beginning to roll the head and neck up. Soft movements. We're in no rush. And then going the opposite way, starting with your chin tucked, connecting the left ear to mat or to shoulder. And going counterclockwise.
Evening out the sides, evening out your space. Even shrugging your sh shoulders close to your ear and then pulling them back down your spine. Finding a full range of motion. And, and going the opposite way. Always getting into both spaces. As you roll your shoulders forward. Wherever you're at, we'll remove the pillow from underneath us. We begin to get into more of a main flow while holding spaces a bit longer. So come into a tabletop pose. Your fingers will be spread wide. They're directly underneath your shoulders. Your hips are over your knees and your toes are flat on the mat. Big breath in as you drop the belly and lift the gaze. And exhale as you hollow out your spine. And gaze goes towards your fingertips. And working at your own breath, your own pace, moving every ligament all the way down your spine, finding that full motion there. And pausing in any space that works for you. Just creating nice big circles, curves with the spine. And coming back to your neutral tabletop pose as you settle back onto your heel into a, almost a child's pose. And then pull grip into your fingertips as you pull your body over to the left side, digging into the palm of your heels, of your hand and creating big circles as you work into those wrist joints all the way down to your hips. Taking a few times on the side, creating big circles, big O's with your body. Settling back onto your heel. And then going counterclockwise to the opposite side. Still inhaling as you open and exhaling as you close. Come back to your neutral child's pose. And again, grip into your mat with your hands as you pull your body up and settle your legs straight. So now you're on the tops of your thighs into an up 
lazy up dog. Your shoulders will be rolled down your back so they're not shrugged by your ears. Your legs and arms are supporting you as you give a little love back to your low back. Expanding your heart space, working into that chakra. Breathing into any spaces of tension and surrendering in. Big breath in and exhale as you pull your body back into your child's pose. Your head can connect to the mat. As you give a nice opposite motion. And ground into your hands as you look towards the top of the mat again and pull your body back into that lazy up dog as you roll your shoulders down your spine your feet are flat onto the mat and your heart space is expanding with your breath creating a vulnerable space for yourself And inviting your eyes to close and focus back on your breath. Pull yourself back into that child's pose. As you settle your head onto your mat and surrender it. And inhale yourself back up to your tabletop pose. 
as you begin to extend your legs long behind you, coming to lying onto your belly. Relaxing, continuing a bit more. You'll bring your elbows directly underneath your shoulders. Your fingers will be spread wide, so both arms look like a number 11. And again, just as our lazy up dog, your shoulders will be soft and rolled down as that heart space will be open and continuing with breath. Giving a gentler, softer, more gentle back bend for your low back. And again, inviting the eyes to close as you begin to hold stillness and find peace within this space. Big inhale and exhale as you hug your chest closer in to the mat. Letting your arms go long behind you. Connecting left ear to mat to start. Bringing your heels up to the sky. And then creating a windshield wiper action with your feet. Being soft and being gentle. And you can put your feet back down as you connect right ear to mat and then inhale those heels back up to the sky and give a gentle sway from side to side with those heels. Finding a release for that low back, a small stretch for the hips. And those legs can settle back as your head comes back to neutral. So now we will find our pillows. So one on either side of your hip. And we will adjust as needed. So I'm gonna pull this other one because I will be needing it eventually. But we are going to start over to our right side. And your arms can just find a space in front of you. You can have those sphinx arms, but not as tight or they can come out to a strong T, but your left leg will be long and flat onto the mat, left ear, and we'll hug this pillow tight into the body. And your right leg, you are going to pull that knee up. So the inner side of that right leg is going to be onto your pillow and your right toes are going to be flat. 
This is also known as a half frog pose, just to open that hip space while still being restorative with your pillow and then surrendering it. So your knee will be parallel with your hip and your toes are going to be directly down from that right hip. Wherever your arms may be, if they're spread out wide or if they're curled up, keep them as is, as this right foot begins to extend onto the outer edge of your left leg, just opening that hip. So now you're on the side of your left body your right hip is just open maybe your shoulders open too just for a few breaths and we'll come back to line on our belly into our sphinx pose and your legs heels can come up to the sky and give a nice wiggle a nice release And they can go back down as we set up for our left side. So now our right ear will connect to mat. Adjust your pillow as needed onto this side. And then this left knee will come up parallel with the edge of that left hip. And then your left toes are directly underneath that knee as you surrender down into the earth. Invite your eyes to close and begin to take a rest.
just at the other side, wherever your arms may be. I'm going to inhale those right left toes onto the outer edge of that right leg for just a few breaths. Just to open that hip back up, open this side body, get a full stretch. And settle back into your neutral spine. You can come up a bit if you'd like, or you can again stay low, but your heels will come up as you give a nice swaying motion from side to side to release your hips, your low back. And your legs can come back down as we plant our hands and come back through our neutral tabletop pose. My pillows. We're going to bring our right leg up into a half pigeon, or I've heard it be called a sleeping swan. So you're gonna curl the outer edge of your right leg in front of you. So your right toes will be sticking. And you will extend your left leg back and long. So this right thigh will be parallel with the edge of your mat. Both hips will be pointed parallel as well. So make any adjustments as needed and a big breath in. Again, you can bring your pillows to the front of you if you'd like more of a surrender and just melt in to your space. And you can push yourself back up to a tall spine. If your pillows are there, we will adjust as you roll onto your glutes and let your left leg extend long and your right will curl into your inner thigh. Arms come up overhead. Turn over to your left side and hinge from your hips as you exhale, reaching towards these left toes.
and bringing your spine back to neutral as you plant your hands in front of you and make your way back to your tabletop pose. Take a cat cow as needed. As we set up for our left side. So we're going to curl the outer edge of the left leg in front and make adjustments as needed as that right leg goes back and straight. Your pelvic floor is going to be parallel to the edge of that mat and this left leg again will be parallel. If you'd like your pillows in front, this side might be a bit different. Um, you can always come down to your forearms, but just begin to surrender in and work into a deeper stretch for your hip flexors. Begin to push yourself back up to a tall spine. And again, roll onto your glutes as that right leg extends long and the left curl into that inner thigh. Inhale, arms up overhead. So you turn over that right leg and begin to extend long.
And walking back up to a tall spine. As you swing your legs out in front of you and begin to lower down all the way onto your back. Palms can face up as you begin to surrender in into your corpse pose, your Shavasana. Do a quick body scan. So as you invite your eyes to close, begin to mentally turn off your body, starting at your toes and working your way up through your ankle, your shin, your calf, your knees. Releasing your thighs to your low back as it hugs into the mat. And you feel the rise and fall from your belly to your upper chest. Expanding and deflating. As your shoulders release and soften into the mat. Down through your arms and your fingertips. Let them go. And tuck your chin in very slightly as it elongates the back of your neck to take deeper breaths. And if you have any tension in your jaw, simply let your tongue fall to the back of your mouth. Begin to find your stillness. As thoughts come in, let them go, have a blank mind, and take your rest. Begin to wiggle your fingertips, your tippy toes, just to bring some awareness back in. And wherever you're at, take a big breath in and release. Hands compress through heart center. Give me a little extra energy back to yourself just as we begin. Carry that emerald green and that pink energy throughout your day. Maybe give a bit to others if they need. Whatever you can spare. But I appreciate you for being here. Namaste.